Hello, my name is Craig, and this is my very first Kerbal mod. Uh, I call it the Concave Construction Kit, because all of these parts are built out of concave pieces. Uh, concave pieces, I don't think the rest of the modding community has really caught on to the fact that they're really easy to make now. Uh, and what these concave pieces in particular do is let me build really neat star bases, landers, and so on. They're not cheats, they're just structural elements with roughly the same parameters as any other structural element, but they allow you to build some cool stuff. So let me go ahead and show you. This is my favorite piece, the S-Bend. And the S-Beam uh, is very, very cool simply because it's a really graceful way to extend your, your uh, systems. It makes great landing legs and great extensions in all sorts of manner. Uh, for example, here is a clunky base I built. It is a, it's built entirely out of stock parts plus a heavy dose of S's. So you can see that the S's form both the legs and the uh, uh, and the rises. And I've gone ahead and I've deleted the actual launch vehicle that takes this to the moon, but I have video and, and images of it on the moon, so it goes to the moon just fine and it all works just fine. And this is a ship that I do include when you download the mod, because it's a stock ship. But as you can see, the S's really do add a lot of um, uh, gentle shape to the, uh, to the lander, and they also make really, really great uh, uh, struts. They don't make very good landers in and of themselves because they punch through the surface of the planet. haven't really figured that part out yet, but they make really, really great extensions. Now you can see down here there's a whole bunch of other parts, but we're going to get to those in a second. So this is an L-beam. The L-beams are really useful uh, in much the same way that the S-beams are useful, except that their configuration is different, so they're useful in different kinds of plat times, in different kinds of builds. For example, this here is a night spider uh, 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 rover that I created. And it's got a couple of other parts, which I'll be showing you shortly, but the main components here are these L-shaped joints for the legs. Now this is a really, uh, a very strong way to build a rover. It's much, much stronger than having those made out of composite uh, uh, beams, you know, a, an eye beam out and an eye beam back or whatever. That's, that's uh, that's a very weak way to build these, uh, prone to flexing and breaking. Uh, this simple beam goes the distance you need it to go without having to be tilted funny or stapled together. And to show you what I mean, this entire rover has no struts, but it can easily maintain 20 meters per second on the moon safely while running at two times physics speed. So uh, it really is a huge advantage to have these kinds of L struts. The L struts are also really useful when you are building ma major launch vehicles because they can be attached to the top of a launch frame and they'll go out uh, over the edge of the stack and you can attach other things there. Uh, I'm not going to show you examples of that just because I'm recording and uh, if I go above about 200 parts the recording starts to really bog down. <laughs> but they're included. So these are my two concave canisters, one with a beam down the middle and four-way uh, uh, four walls, and one with three-way walls. And these are really useful when you want to put a lot of stuff inside of a unit. They're basically poor men's cargo holds. Um, so here, for example, is a fueling station with the launch system removed. <clears throat> and you can see that in the core of the fueling station, I've just gone ahead and jammed all of the functional stuff I needed inside one of those... Uh, uh, canisters. So I've got this, let's remove that just because it's hiding it. So as you can see I've got uh, solar panels, uh, four di all, all four ordinal directions with the jets, uh, four batteries, uh, three batteries, uh, three uh, generators, and some, uh, some RCS. So all of that fits inside quite easily, and of course these on the outside for kicks. Uh, so this is really useful, and uh, if you remember the, the Night Strider, the Night Spider uh, rover that I showed you also did this, um, and in fact that that spider rover has things like seating inside of these, so that's pretty cool. Uh, while I'm here, I might as well remind you that the S curve is quite graceful and useful in this sort of situation, and you can see here I've used a, a, a stack spider to actually attach all of the now non-existent uh, initial launch capabilities, uh, which allows me to put a lot of force on this here, and then I can easily run cords from that up to a more stable location if I need to. Uh, this here is actually the next thing we're going to be looking at. So this part here is a deceptively simple 
part. Uh, it's just a, uh, a stack size converter, but it's got the surface specifically uh, uh, ground out for pipes or robotics. So when you do your stack conversion, you can do your stack conversion in a way that you can quickly attach robotics. Here's an example. This is not stock. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other crap involved here. But you can see that I've got a stack converter, and then I've got a hollowed out canister in the middle with the stuff in it, and then I've got a knack, another stack converter on the bottom. And in the middle, I've got a set of robotic beams that, f that, that fold down, and I have all of my communication satellites attached to those. And you can see that this is what it looks like without the communication satellites. So that's a, a fun way to do it as well. Now you can see that I've got a lot of pedals here, so I might as well go ahead over, go ahead and show you what those are. They're just pedals. Um, they go together in various configurations and are used mostly for decoration. Although I have found them useful for functional purposes once or twice. Um, they're not legs, so I'm afraid that if you wanted to try and have uh, a, a robot with pedals for legs, you have to attach another thing to them. Anyhow, that's all the parts I made, and I figured I would go ahead and show them to you and make them available for everyone. Uh, the mod might not be up for download just yet, um, uh, at least not on any kind of uh, Kerbal space, uh, uh, space Center location, uh, but it will be available soon, and I hope you look forward to uh, playing around with cool-looking space stations and landers. Uh, it'll also include some ships that work fine with stock, so that'll be fun.